Hello, I am Dr. Dao Xinli, Department Chair for the Doctorate Degree Program at Yosan University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. And I'm James Scoyan, Senior Faculty for the Doctorate Degree Program at Yosan University. Please join us as we explore acupuncture points and their clinical applications. Thank you for participating and joining us for. Today's、uh, discussion on more points.、Uh, we are going to be doing lung seven to lung eleven.、Uh, Dr. James Goyne is here with me tonight, and uh, uh, we're going to start with lung seven. The、uh, H R. It's a wonderful point. It's a very very widely used point, and it's commonly also known Tong Xuan. The、uh, A means a crack or separation or actually lightning. Uh, DHA means、uh, lighting and cracks in heaven. So, since a lung organ is at the top of all the Zhanghu organs, this really means that the lung itself is the heaven in the body. This point is where the qi of the lung channel branches out to connect with Han Yang Ming Large Intestine Channel, and、uh, um, and it is like lighting where the energy separates to another place. Since this point is in the depression between the styloid process and the tendon area, we call this crack or depression of this point carries also this meaning. Okay, good. Lung seven, in terms of its location, is in a depression or a crack, as you just mentioned, directly proximal to the radial styloid process, and it's at the junction. Or at the border of the dorsal and ventral parts of the forearm, between the bifurcating tendinous insertion of the brachioradialis muscle.、Uh, this is the primary location, and we can talk about the styloid process as being 1.5 sun in length. And this point then would be directly proximal to wrist crease, which is the zero point of that measurement, and、uh, just on that proximal 1.5 sun border. There is a second location for the point that I occasionally use for specific indications, and this is on the ventral surface of the distal forearm, medial to the proximal border of the styloid process of the radial radius, on the line between lung five and lung nine. In other words, on the connection line,、uh, on the medial side, on the meridian. Well, I was thinking.、Uh, I know that there is a radial artery there.、Uh, how do we? Ensure that we don't hit the radial artery when we are、uh, needling this point. Well, with the first location directly on the junction of the dorsal and ventral parts of the forearm, there's a, a good distance from the artery, and、uh, so there's less of a worry. On the with the second location being very close to the artery, it's helpful to place the、uh, assisting hand or a palpating finger on the artery. And then,、uh, when noticing the pulsation, puncture directly near the finger, or、uh, which would be lateral to the finger and into the point. So you're basically protecting the artery, so it can't be punctured. And we know that this point has a lot of incredible personalities.、Um, one is a low point of the lung channel and branches to a large intestine channel. And it's also one of the eight confluent points connecting to the eight extraordinary channels, specifically the Ren channel. It's also one of the four overall points、um, that、uh, is widely used、um, in this、uh, seek stomach thirty six for abdominal problems, bladder forty for back pain problem, lung seven for head and neck problems, lung test and four for face and mouth problems. Out of the Zhengzhou Dachuan,、uh, um, basically uh,、um, here it talks about how this point is widely used, almost for any kind of head and neck problems, and it's also one of the master、uh, Ma Dongyang's twelve、uh, point collection. As、uh, one of the twelve point that is used to treat all sorts of、uh, major problems of the body, and uh,、um, its uh, its action. Is that、uh, it disperses lung, regulates qi, benefits throat and open chest, opens up channels and collaterals, and、uh, nourishes lung and also kidney in kidney in. Yes, and if we consider the indications, we can directly relate 
the indications of lung sound to these main actions. For example, in dispersing lung and regulating qi, it treats dyspnea or shortness of breath, asthma, wheezing. It can also be used to uh, relieve exterior symptoms such as fever and chills or simultaneous fever and chills, treat nasal problems, which relate, of course, to the lung as well, uh, specifically for nasal congestion or runny nose. It's a very important point for the throat, as, as you just mentioned, and it could be used to relieve throat pain. I want to mention throat pain due to uh, excess nature, so very strong throat pain, but also uh, pain due to a deficiency nature, for example, due to a yin deficiency uh, pattern. It's also a point that can be used for a cough. I want to list uh, it as a point for acute cough, uh, for example, due to a common cold or to, to an upper respiratory allergy. Uh, but it's also used for a chronic, weak, dry cough. It's a point which can be used to treat facial edema. One of few points, actually, that treats facial edema as a distant, uh, remote action. And it's particularly useful then when exogenous factors affect the lung's ability to disperse the fluids and its ability in general to dominate water passages. It can be used for skin conditions, skin rashes, especially when wind affects the skin and causes itchiness, acute itchiness especially. Uh, it also can be used for some or specific emotional complaints, including sadness and the types of depression we might want to relate to the lung. Uh, another uh, list of indications include effect on the channel, uh, such as neck pain, treating the large intestine channel effectively in the neck, uh, the uh, problems with the sternocleidomastoid muscle, uh, it's the low connecting point, as you mentioned, as a characteristic and connects the lung and large intestine main channels together. It can also be, however, used to treat bladder channel problems in the posterior aspect of the neck. So basically, the, several of the cervical muscles in the neck can be affected with this uh, point uh, because this meridian, the lung, can also treat bladder-related channels. It treats shoulder pain, wrist pain, thumb and index pain. It can even be used for headaches. I think particularly good for headaches due to exogenous factors like wind affecting the body or wind affecting the lung, which is a part of the exterior of the body as well. One other indication I want to mention quickly is the treatment of abdominal pain, including uh, pain during the menstrual cycle or dysmenorrhea. Now, it's very specific and quite uh, astoundingly effective for pain on the anterior midline, uh, often just below the belly button. Uh, it's often a very surprising experience for patients to uh, to. Um, um, uh, again, experience because it's a point on the wrist which can really rather immediately acute pain or pain of a strong nature under the belly button on the midline. Yeah, I think uh, I totally agree with you. And since it's a confluent point, one of the confluent point for the um, a extraordinary channels of Ren channel, I think the condition of Ren channel can, uh, can also be involved here that we could definitely use this point for that. Uh, for example, personally, I've used this point for, uh, say, infertility conditions in both men and women, um, and as well as bladder issues, as well as pelvic pain issues, as you have described earlier. Uh, and I think, you know, there's some combination that we could definitely uh, 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 do with other points for different things, such as the exogenous cough we can uh, combine with uh, do 14, lung intestine 4, sun jiao 5, and lung 10. Uh, this came out of the zhen jiu, uh, zhen jiu shui, uh, jian pian. And asthma, uh, lung 7, uh, all usually combined with stomach 36. This is a favorite pairing for uh, uh, yi uh, rumen. Uh, this is a, a wonderful pairing for asthma conditions. I would imagine for more deficiency asthma conditions. And when there's a cough with cold, phlegm, chest, diaphragm, closure pain, uh, lung 7 uh, can be combined with bladder 13, um, a Ren 17, stomach 36 in, uh, um, in, in uh, Zhen Jiu uh, Da Quan and talked about this. And headache, we can add um, uh, Ren 12, lung intestine 4, do 24, lung 9, Stomach 36, um, do 20, stomach 8, 
gallbladder 20 are all sorts of point, including Tai Yang, uh, used for headache. And uh, coffee nut blood, we can add uh, lung 9, lung 5, as well as stomach 36 into the mix. And, uh, and uniquely, when there's pain in the penis, we can uh, use this point as well with combination with uh, liver 2 point. And uh, this came out of uh, the classics of uh, Lei Jin uh, Tu Yi, the supplements to Lei Jin. Uh, toothache, uh, this point is also used with small intestine 3, do 26, stomach 6, and as well as uh, uh, Lu Xi which is uh, a extraordinary point in the middle of the medium alveolus. Uh, we can also add lung line and large test four for that. And lin, lin pain, uh, lin syndrome pain, we can add uh, liver four, bladder 17, bladder 18, REN six and REN five. Um, in the old day with seizure uh, coming out of Zhen Jiu Jia Yi Jin, you will see lung seven pair with large test and six peony. And malaria, also lung seven with small intestine three, small intestine one, and small intestine two. And all of these, sinusitis, this is a very effective point when combined with 223, large test and 20, large test and 11, and gallbladder 20. Very good. I'd like to maybe add a couple more combinations for patterns. Uh, or organ patterns. One would be treating wind cold attacking the lung, which I think is a, a common pattern which we might consider lung seven with large intestine four. The combination of large intestine four is source point or your end source point in lung seven as the low uh, passage point or passage point. Uh, gallbladder 20, a point to eliminate wind, and bladder 12 and 13 might be added in that combination for wind cold with symptoms of fever, chills, body aches, stuffy nose, and or itchy throat. If you consider lung salmon as a point for affecting the yin, as a confluent point of the yin, uh, the renmai, we have it. Uh, its use in treating lung and kidney indeficiency with for example, chronic sore throat, lung seven, kidney six, and adding spleen six and uh, REN four as well, or CV4. One example of how we might consider using lung seven for an emotional complaint would be the treatment of a pattern with stress-related anxiety and sadness accompanied with dyspnea, shortness of breath and cough, and maybe with some chest tightness. Uh, such a diagnosis might be considered a stagnation of qi in the upper jaw or affecting the lung, or might even be considered with stress a big factor, lung and liver qi stagnation. A combination like lung 7 and lung 5, two lung points with the liver point, liver 3, points on the back like bladder 42, pericardium 6 in the wrist area, bladder 13 and 18 could also be used as the corresponding back shoe points for the lung. It's amazing yeah. how many uh, conditions this point uh, combines with to treat. Obviously, this is extremely yes. popular. Uh, can you remind us uh, how you would needle this uh, point? Yeah, again, I, I mentioned two locations. I primarily use uh, the location where the point is uh, on the junction of the dorsal ventral aspect of forum and proximal, very uh, closely proximal mm -hmm. to the styloid process. And I'm using it often with the needle proximally directed towards the lung, if you will, or towards the lung channel directing the shoulder into the lung to treat most of the lung functions we mentioned above, as well as many of the indications from cough to difficulty breathing. Uh, I will use it for, uh, uh, I will take the same location and direct the needle distally. And I want to mention that quickly because I find this point to be extraordinarily effective for a point, uh, a problem in the wrist area. It's an adjacent issue, a problem of a, a tenosynovitis, but it comes quite frequently into the clinic or one addresses frequently. And often I treat it uh, on the opposite side and find it quite effective in relieving a pain in the wrist by directing the needle towards the thumb. Another addition to that would be directing it towards a thumb for thumb pain or directing it towards the index finger, uh, a slight more lateral direction and distal 
for index finger pain. The second location I use on occasion is connecting lung 7 to lung 9, if you will, with the needle. So I'll actually insert the needle up to an inch and a half sun deep. Of course, it's a superficial needling or a horizontal needling depth, and I'll direct it from the location lung 7 directly next to the radial artery or on the lung channel as as it's continued from lung 5 to lung 9. And I'll direct the needle all the way towards lung nine to do that. So that's how I might do it. If I can add, this point might also be used with moxibustion uh, for deficient type of cold headaches and also for certain types of migraines. Yeah, it's an amazing point. Uh, If you look at classics, it's listed everywhere. And this, like a lot of the common points, originated from Lin Su. Um, inside Lin Su Jin, this is where it really originally documented. Now let's move on to Lung 8, Jin uh, Chu. Uh, Jin Chu, Jin uh, means uh, channel um, and Chu means canal. This means the Qi of the channel is flowing strongly through this point. This most likely is pointing to the radial artery that tra- traverses right underneath this point. Um, so it's, uh, I would be very interested to see how you help it and how you uh, locate this point, Jim. Well, I'm locating this one on the ventral side of the forum, so it's on the um, uh, lung channel directly next to or lateral to the radial artery. So again, I could feel for the artery to be certain as not to puncture the artery. I'm also locating very frequently based upon an anatomical landmark, which is the prominence or the highest tip of the styloid radial process, if it's palpable or visual. So this point could be measured in sun units, and it would be then one sun proximal to lung nine. But again, oftentimes uh, uh, one can find a high point to the styloid process, and that could be an initial point to locate or puncture the point. And this is a Jin River point. It's a metal element point, and uh, in its actions, is used to disperse lung and regulate qi, to clear lung he and descends any kind of reversal such as asthma and cough, is used to disperse wind and relief biao. And locally, is also used to benefit the tendon and the joints of the wrist, especially in that area. Mm-hmm. Another point, uh, similar in the sense uh, to lung seven, in that it can regulate the lung and uh, or disperse the lung and regulate its chi and affect uh, the lung function. So it can be used for dyspnea and asthma and wheezing, as well as for relieving a cough. Um, I mentioned above that I use lung seven often for um, neck problems or posterior neck problems. And this one I'll use with lung seven, often needling lung seven to and connecting to lung eight to treat a mid-cervical posterior neck pain. And uh, there are many points that can be used to combine with this point for treatment of different things. Uh, for example, cough, we can use this point to combine with REN 22, REN 17, stomach 18, bladder 12, bladder 13, lung 7, lung 10, small intestine 2, stomach uh, 36, uh, came out of the Zhenjiu, uh, Zhenjiu Fangyuan. Um, asthma, we can pair with lung 3. And back pain, we can pair with lung 10, bladder 60, gallbladder 40, and uh, bladder 64. And uh, for throat pain, um, we can combine with stomach 6, lung test 4, lung 11, uh, lung 5, lung test 5, pericardium 7, lung test 2, and small intestine 2. As you can see, you can combine with uh, a group of quite a bit of these points that can be used for all different sorts of problems. And if there's fever with no sweat, we can definitely combine with Sanjiao 4, Lunch Test 4, Sanjiao 6, Small Intestine 2, Stomach 44, Small Intestine 3, and Small Intestine 4, 5. Stomach 45, stomach 42, stomach 41. So you have a choice of points that you can choose from. And if there's a neurological feverish palms, 
such as a neuropathy, we can use uh, lung A seven nine in 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 a row uh, for this kind of condition. Jim, do you got anything else to add to this? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll expound on that idea of either taking three needles or what I like to do is take one needle and connect points like lung eight and lung nine or lung seven, eight, and nine in a row. Uh, one pattern I might consider using this in such a way would be the pattern of lung chi deficiency with a chronic weak cough on exertion where I would connect lung eight with lung nine, so needling distally in that direction, primarily because in a proximal direction from lung nine to one and lung aid is a little challenging due to the anatomy of the wrist. But I would add uh, those two points, lung 9 again with lung 8, uh, lung 9 being also an earth point, and connect that with the earth point on the spleen channel and then on the stomach channel, spleen 3 and stomach 36, so that one strengthens, so to speak, earth to strengthen metal or treat a lung chi deficiency. Uh, again, in summary, in terms of the needling direction, here I'm using a horizontal needling direction, but one can needle lung eight perpendicularly and also obliquely. Uh, and uh, in general, because of its anatomy, it's not needled very deep perpendicularly or obliquely. Uh, it would be between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. So on, but if it's needled uh, horizontally connecting points, it would be directed uh, uh, under the skin almost subcutaneously at about one inch to 1.5, depending on the starting point, lung seven or lung eight. And it can also be addressed with moxibustion. And in the last, I'd like to just add two more conditions. This lung A can be used for um, edema. It's uh, in Su when they discuss how this point can also use for edema. And uh, in Zhen Jiu Zhi Shen, Jin, you talk about how this can be used for foot pain. So it's not just for hand neuropathy. Mm -hmm. It can also be used for plantar fasciitis as well as a foot neuropathy issues. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, Jim, got anything else to add? Otherwise, let's move on to. No, at the uh, moment, just adding, just adding for me, but we have two major points lung seven and lung nine. Now, lung eight, I would uh, emphasize somewhat less, but still find it important. Often I connect it, of course, as I mentioned, but it's a, one, three important points on the wrist of the lung channel. Yeah. And it's very interesting how in the classic, they really talk about how. This ditch, this ditch is so big and so deep and so wide. It's if we look at it carefully, it seems like lung A is probably this point that's closest to the radial artery. And the significance of that is that it's a very sensitive point and can be used for a lot of these conditions that we just talked about. Um, nothing else to add. Let's move on to lung nine, Tai Yuan. Uh, tai Yuan is a very popular point, just like lung seven. Uh, tai means large or most. Uh, yuan means deep. And this is the source point of lung channel. Mm -hmm. And it's also the converging point of vessels, where the qi of the channel is the largest and the deepest. Therefore, the name Tai Yuan. Uh, for this uh, point. Mm -hmm. uh, the point uh, would be located, as you mentioned, also like lung 8, very close to the radial artery or lateral to the radial artery. And it's uh, one of the wrist joint points and the points at the level of the wrist joints, often described as best in the wrist crease at the level of the wrist joint and or in terms of lung 9, just proximal to uh, the scaphoid bone, one of the seven bones of the wrist. And since it's a source point of lung channel, um, it can be used to tonify lung and qi. And since it's the su string earth point of a lung channel, it is used widely to stop cough and dissolve phlegm. And since it's a converging point of vessels, it can be used to open channels and recover pulse. It can be used to activate channels and collaterals. And locally, it's also a very good point to help to benefit the tendons and the joints of the wrist. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, and being such an important point, it uh, can affect uh, all of the lung symptoms from dyspnea to asthma, wheezing, and cough, and also chest pain, and as you mentioned above, including chest pain due to phlegm in the lung. Um, And one other indication from the many others I could list would be uh, treating uh, frequent respiratory infections because in uh, being a point which uh, as a source point is important for the lung function it also is important for the lung's ability to uh, spread we'll say the way chi to the surface of the body and protect against mm-hmm. exogenous pathogenic factor and so it's a useful point to be used in combination with others for frequent respiratory infection so to speak preventatively Okay, um, and um, uh, maybe one other thing to uh, mention, based more on the channel energetics, this is a point that I'll frequently use for uh, uh, problems of the spleen channel in the ankle area. Just a quick mention here because of its usefulness. This is an example of using a point on the lung channel, hand tie yin, to treat a problem of the foot tie yin or spleen channel. They're very closely related, as we've discussed before, with other lung points, the lung and the spleen channel. And so as a remote action this point, it relieves uh, often immediately medial or spleen channel ankle pain or pain on or near the spleen channel or the tie yin channel of the foot. And obviously, uh, this uh, point is very widely used. So, Jim, what, what do you, how do you differentiate, if they treat similar conditions, how do you differentiate between when you use lung 7 and lung 9? Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in what situation where you can see the difference between these two points? Mm-hmm. That's a real good question. I'm going to give my opinion, of course, on this. I'm well, of, well aware of other opinions from uh, master acupuncturists and specialists in acupuncture, uh, but I'll simplify it on this way for myself. Uh, I almost generalize and start with its characteristic as a source point and say lung 9 is a source point so it allows me to affect all of the lung functions in general as well as treating deficiency and excess. Now the lung excess patterns are typically exogenous factors attacking the lung like a wind cold but also a phlegm pattern in the lung and I say it's particularly superior to a point like lung 7 when there's phlegm in the lung itself. So lung 9 would be for excess of lung with phlegm. It's also of course then for deficiency of lung lung patterns, lung chi deficiency particularly, but it could be used in lung yin deficiency as well. Uh, comparing it again um, with lung 7, I tend to use lung 7 for exogenous factors attacking the lung, especially wind and wind cold, but of course as a confluent point uh, for um, the uh, ren channel or ren vessel, ren vessel, ren mai, I'll use it for yin deficiency patterns, as you mentioned above by lung 7 for lung and kidney yin deficiency, for me especially with sore throat as one of the symptoms of the pattern. So, of course, I can say much more there, but I'll leave it with that lung 9 in summary for deficiency in excess, including excess phlegm patterns, as well as lung chi deficiency and lung 7, not limited to, but particularly good with exogenous factors attacking the surface of the body, treating symptoms like the throat and the nose, as well as the cough, but also um, treating deficiency of yin patterns lung, especially with sore throat. Yeah, I think that's wonderful um, that you are able to differentiate both points for us. And uh, personally, I think what I usually try to do since um, the lung seven Li Chui is a um, low low point, uh, the energy is um, divergent. So, in a sense, if I want to move the energy away from the lung chu, so in some ways, it's like a sedation situation. If I need to sedate, I'll do the lung seven more. If I need to tonify, I'll do the lung nine. Obviously, if you look at a lot of these uh, textbooks, it, it can show both ways. Uh, so brings to my attention on point combination. I think, uh, you know, you can combine with many points for coughing up blood, vomiting blood, uh, arm pains, coughing episode, asthma, uh, again, feverish palms, restlessness, toothache, vomiting. I mean, it just bring uh, our attention to two aspects. Um, the one of the aspects is coughing attacks, coughing episodes. 
um, we can use this point long line, and we can use Si Feng. Si Feng is the point that's in uh, uh, what do you call it? The first uh, first knuckle. You call the first knuckle the uh, the cracks of the first marking uh, of the phalangeal uh, points of the four fingers, uh, excluding the lung, uh, exclu- excluding the thumb. Uh, yes. We can use a point. Uh, sometimes you can bleed those points to stop these coughing attack, and you can also add large intestine four and lung eleven. Um, and this is uh, came out of the Zhenjiu Zi Yan Lun. And the other one is for restlessness. Uh, the restlessness, uh, a lot of times, uh, you can combine with uh, spleen 4, spleen 1, bladder 13, gallbladder 34, and spleen 6. I want to bring this attention in the sense when, and this comes from the Sen Yin Jin. I think what he really means here is a certain sense of uh, kind of pre, uh, some kind of pre pre trauma or pre symptoms to heart problems or uh, atrial fibrillations or heart attack. And um, uh, that's the reason why some of these points uh, are used to move the chi along, move the chi and blood along. Uh, that's when it's combined with split four. Uh, spleen 1, bladder 13, gallbladder 34, and spleen 6. Uh, so I just want to bring these two conditions uh, to your attention. Jim, do you have anything else to add? Well, I think uh, you've got me going on the comparison, so I'll, I'll add a couple of combinations, and maybe that says something more in terms of the points. Uh, for example, lung 9, I'll, I'll combine with stomach 36 for lung chi deficiency. Uh, you mentioned also the use of lung 7 and stomach 36 for asthma. But uh, I'll use that based upon lung 9 and stomach 36 based upon the idea that uh, we strengthen the chi by strengthening the earth element or the spleen, and both are earth points. In comparison, uh, I, I would also use lung 9 with a stomach point for phlegm, stomach 40, when there's phlegm damp in the lung. So in combining for the deficiency case, lung 9, stomach 36, with the reinforcement method of stimulation, and uh, lung 9 and stomach 40 for the excess condition of phlegm with that point. Whereas I would, uh, going back to lung 7, might consider with uh, other points for excess conditions like large intestine 4 when there's an exogenous factor affecting, affecting the lung. Okay, just those additional points. Uh, let me just add a little bit to needle technique again here with lung 9. Uh, this point can be needled perpendicularly. It is at a, a, a wrist joint space, and you can direct the needle in the wrist joint proximal to the scaphoid bone and distal to the radius. So you can actually find that crease and uh, through movement of the crease, isolate the, the depth at that point. Or, as I mentioned above, I can needle it horizontally. Actually, I'm, then I'm beginning with a lung 8, and sometimes even with lung 7, and connecting it to, to lung 9 on the lung channel. And yes, it can also be stimulated with moxibustion. And I think moxibustion is a wonderful thing to treat for the lung chi deficiency, as you have described uh, earlier uh, for, uh, for this uh, uh, condition. Uh, in the classics, obviously, it has shown up everywhere. And um, the Lin Su is, again, the origination documentation of this point. And literally every single classics describe about the location and the treatment of uh, this, uh, uh, this point uh, quite a bit. Um, and uh, um, so, again, is use a lot for coughing up blood, use a lot for vomiting blood, and vomiting itself. Uh, as well as uh, uh, toothaches um, and restlessness. So that uh, if um, you got nothing else to add to this point, which is we can probably sit here whole night and talk about lung mm-hmm. nine. Um, sure. Let's uh, move to our next point, uh, lung ten. Uh, lung ten is yu uh, ji in Chinese. Yu actually means fish, and ji means border. And the location of this point, since it's on the thumb, 
uh, looks like the abdomen of the fish, showing both the white and the red me. Therefore, we call this uh, yu qi uh, as the name uh, for uh, this uh, point. And uh, you want to talk a little bit about the location, how we can locate it correctly? Sure. If you're looking at that first metacarpal bone or the area of that bone and recognizing that fish belly looking muscle, uh, this would be directly lateral to the center of the first metacarpal bone. I tend to needle it close to the bone or not far from the bone at the junction of the dorsal ventral aspect of the hand. That's good. And uh, since it's a gene river point, it's a file element point, it's a very, very good point in use uh, for to disperse lung and regulate qi and clearing qi and benefit throw. Um, it's also used to open up channel and collaterals for localized uh, neurological and joint pain of the wrist and the first uh, uh, meta, uh, metacarpal. Um, it's a, I, I personally find this is my go-to point for a lot of sore throat issues, mm -hmm. uh, as well as loss of voice, uh, due to infections. Um, yes. you know, besides the, you know, the joint pains and numbness or nerve pains of the thumb. Uh, mm -hmm. what you want to talk a little bit about indication, what can be used well, for I'll reiterate that uh, I would say it is a main point for throat pain and or sore throat and hoarseness or hoarse voice. And I'd like to emphasize that it's, uh, for me, used uh, not just for uh, exogenous heat or an infectious heat, if you will, sore throat, so acute sore throat or pain in the throat area or hoarseness of voice, but it's also used when there's a, a, a deficiency heat causing a sore throat, and I'll mention some of the combinations later. So those two indications. So clearly an important point for the throat, as you're mentioning. I'd like to mention one channel connecting, one channel indication, and that is this is a point that I will use sometimes for upper back pain or interscapular pain, uh, usually associated with the rhomboid muscles, so that tightness, that discomfort between the scapula. As again, an example of using a lung point, a hand tie-in point to treat a foot tie-yang problem. There are also some extra points on both sides of that point, uh, lung 10, which can be used for the same pattern. So it's kind of an area on that uh, thumb, which is useful to treating the area between the scapula. So sore throat and a channel indication of the upper back. And uh, if we look at the point combination, uh, this point can be used for many different conditions. Uh, with cough, we can combine with do 14, lunge test 4, sun gel 5, and lung 7. Uh, if there is coughing up blood, we can combine with lung 5, lung 9, bladder 13, bladder 17, and spleen 6. And if there is fever and chills alternating, we can combine with gallbladder 20, heart 3, heart 9, large intestine 4, kidney 7, gallbladder 41, and spleen 3. Uh, treating head headache, we can combine with gallbladder 20, sanjiao 2, sanjiao 3, and heart 5. And earlier, as you were talking about sore throat, um, combining with the uh, kidney, some of the kidney point is very useful, such as kidney 3 and kidney 6. And a loss of voice, we can also combine with lunge test 4, pericardium 5, heart 7, kidney 2, bladder 13, and bladder 23. And for any kind of cardiac or hip, uh, heart pains, we can use a combination of lung 10 and lung 9. And elbow and the arm nerve pain, we can uh, use lung, ten, lung 5, large intestine 15, small intestine A, pericardium 5 and 6, and small intestine 3. And for manic hyperactivity conditions, we can combine with large intestine 4, small intestine 4, small intestine 7, heart 3, and bladder 60. And so as you can see, um, it can be used for so many different conditions. Oh, one last thing, cholera 
and vomiting. This actually has been documented to combine with spleen three. Lung ten and spleen <laughs> three can be used for cholera and vomiting. Uh, do you got anything else to add? Sure. Just again, I mentioned that it's especially good for the throat. <clears throat> right now I have suppressed a cough, but now it's okay. Uh, it's particularly good for the sore throat. And I mentioned again for an, a wind heat or an exogenous heat affecting the throat with acute strong sore throat. I might use it with um, the point lung 10 with uh, small intestine 17 and or large intestine 11 if there's a fever as well. And if it's a yin deficiency, so a deficiency case where a yin deficiency leads to a type of heat that rises to the throat, we might say lung and even kidney yin deficiency. Lung 10 can be combined with kidney 3, the source part of the kidney channel, or lung 10 can even be just combined with uh, a second yin spring point, which is kidney 2 on the kidney channel to relieve that chronic sore throat, which is particularly sore in the evenings. I like to needle this point perpendicularly about 0 0.5 to 1 sun because it can be sensitive I often insert through the skin quickly uh, getting through the skin as you know is a, a really important uh, task where the patient doesn't feel the needle much and then I press the muscle often to, to, together so I can guide the needle to the proper depth it's an amazing point and uh, there are some research that uh, have shown that just my needling the lung 10 point, it actually shown a, a relief of bronchial smooth muscle spasms. So um, it's um, known to be very effective to stop asthmatic attacks, um, and especially in children. Uh, so it's mm. a, a pretty strong point. And I think in those acute situations, I think can be extremely useful. And uh, not to be underestimated, it's also been used for jaundice uh, situation um, uh, for uh, out of the uh, book, Pu Ji Huang. So you have has been mentioned used for jaundice as well. Mm -hmm. Good point. Very good point, uh, mm -hmm. Lung Ten. Um, and uh, uh, how do you needle it so that doesn't hurt? I know lung tin can be painful. Again, one of the more important strategies in needling painlessly is, is distraction. And what I try to do is after I insert quickly through the skin at the proper location on the surface is press the, the muscle together and uh, guide the needle uh, deeper into the muscle tissue or between the muscle and the bone in some cases. Uh, with that pressure distracting, the patient often doesn't feel the discomfort in the hand. I have a, I have a trick usually is I pinch the point. I actually yes. pull, it up, pull up this point and pinch it. Because when you pinch it, it's actually painful. So once you pinch it and you put a needle in, literally the person feel the pinch is actually worse than actually needling. So like what you're saying, the distractions, uh, um, it's, it's another mm -hmm. way that I usually do it for, for, yeah. for this point. How many times have you been slapped for that? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, <clears throat> lung 11. Let's go on to lung 11, Sao Sang. Uh, Sao Sang is, um, Sao means uh, lesser or small. Sun is actually one of the five sounds. And uh, this sun sound resonates with actually the lung. And this is the gene well point of the lung where the chi of the channel exits in a small quantity. Uh, so therefore, uh, we have named, uh, the, therefore, the name of this uh, point. Um, the, when I was talking about the five sounds, um, as, as you know, the regular scales, you know, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, if you put a note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, the, the Chinese usually use the five sound, which would be the one, two, three, five, six. And so basically would be the, the south sound would be basically uh, the second sound, which is uh, D, would be the D sound. Um, 
So anyway, interesting, interesting how this uh, uh, uses the musical scale to describe yes, this yes. point. Yeah. In terms of location, um, this as many of the Jingwell points is located very close to the nail fold of the of the digit. Uh, in this case, this is at the crossing point of the two connecting lines, the nail base and the lateral nail fold of the thumb on the lateral side of the thumb. Yes, and uh, um, this is a gene well wood point, just like uh, many of other points that we have gone through. It clears the lung, benefits the throat, um, opens up orifices, waking up the spirit, um, it is used for disperse, to purge, and to open. And it activates blood and opens low. And it's also um, uh, very good for a phalangeal joint problem. Um, it is used for many different things. And uh, maybe, Jim, you can talk a little bit about the indications. Yeah, the, the main indication for me is a very strong or significant throat pain or sore throat. Uh, hoarseness of voice can also be present, of course. Uh, the most um, obvious indication uh, for me is, again, this throat pain to the point where the patient has even trouble swallowing. And then I'll needle that point, often as a single point. Either, uh, I'm jumping a little bit, but I'll say either I needle it or I bleed it or I needle it and press after taking the needle to draw a bit of blood. And oftentimes I've heard the, the sore throat uh, is uh, immediately relieved or the patient can then swallow easier with the discomfort being reduced. So that would be a primary use. I'm going to add one more because in uh, earlier days, I had the privilege to support patients or treat patients in coma, um, and the Jing Well points as a group of the hands or the extra points, the Shu Shen points on the fingertips themselves, uh, they're used by a certain type of coma. And um, in certain cases where the patient responded in deep coma to these Jingwa points, I certainly did see the effect of these very strongly dynamic points on the fingertips of the hands. Some people have used uh, this point for drowning as well, uh, and also for seizure, especially in pediatric seizure, uh, manic situations as well. Um, if we look at the point combination, um, it has been used for wind stroke, loss of consciousness. Uh, this is where we can combine with a, a lot of the gene well point of the other channel, such as large intestine 1, pericardium 9, sanjiao 1, heart 9, small intestine 1. Uh, a lot of this gene well point can be used to wake up a patient uh, from the wind stroke situation. This can also be used in epilepsy seizures, which usually combine with DO26, spleen 1, pericardium 7, bladder 62, bladder 11, stomach 6, REN 24, pericardium 8, DO23, uh, even REN 1, and large test in 11. Uh, heat stroke in the summer, for example, you can combine with lung intestine 4, pericardium 7, sanjiao 1, lung 5. Uh, you can also use the two bleeder points underneath the tongue, uh, jin jin and yi uh, yue. And in pediatric seizure, same thing. You can combine with do 14, lung intestine 11, pericardium 9, and do 20. And with cough attack, Things in the same thing as what we did before with lung nine. You can combine with lung nine, si feng, and large intestine four, and pericardium six. Uh, throat pain, we can combine with REN 22 and large intestine four. And uh, in the old days, there is a condition called throat mouth. It usually, uh, it's usually um, its equivalent to today's strep throat, a severe strep throat. And uh, in that situation, you combine with lung intestine 4, lung 10, and you can also bleed those two points underneath the tongue, jin jin, yu ye. And for nosebleed, we can combine with lung intestine 19, do 23, 
large intestine for lung tan uh, and vomiting, we can combine with pericardian aid, pericardian aid for vomiting. Uh, Jim, do you have anything else to add for combination of points? I'd like to mention one more comment to this Jing Well point, as well as other Jing Well points. But this one on the lung channel, I use this because muscle channels originate, we can say, in the Jing Well point or in the area of the Jing Well point. And so I'll use often the Jing Well point, in this case lung 11, for a problem of the muscle channel. And I'm going to translate that with the example of acute shoulder pain, specifically anterior shoulder pain. An example being a bicipital tendonitis, a very painful, often a very painful condition involved with shoulder joint flexion. And lung 11 can relieve that often quite significantly if it's needle and or bled. And in addition, I can add here, it can be also stimulated with moxibustion for that type of treatment as well warming it or with direct moxie or with a moxa cigar and then uh, involving uh, the movement of the joint to see if there's a difference in the pain. So that I wanted to add just in conclusion to lung 11. Yeah, interesting enough, in some of the ancient texts, it actually talk about not to moxa mm-hmm. and that uh, the choice is more bleeding, bleeding the mm-hmm. point. Uh, prick bleeding the point seems to be uh, very useful. Um, there's also some experiment that has shown that uh, by using laser, um, focus beam laser on this point, uh, Sao Sang, uh, Sang Yang, and other Jing Well points, it actually increases microcirculation, improves microcirculation sure. of the body. Sure. And that's an interesting finding. I don't know if that's sustaining and whether or not that is something for all uh, for each patient but that's what they uh, mm-hmm. was able to uh, mm-hmm. discover very interesting yeah and um, you know in classics uh, this point is commonly used for a lot of fever chills a lot of acute conditions um, including you know blurry visions um, including um, a lot of the a lot of the very severe throat infection situations um, even talk about mums. Um, it can also use for mums um, in, uh, in with this point. Um, anything else to add, Jim? No, not at this point. I think we've been thorough in describing the various lung points. This is a conclusion of the lung channel points. Uh, I want to thank you for your participation. I know that these last few points has been very widely used, and we spent a lot of time on them. Uh, I hope you don't get confused. There's there's a lot of material, as you can see, um, uh, as we were speaking about um, uh, some of these points. Thank you, Dr. Gao. Thank you for joining us in our discussion of these acupuncture points, and we look forward to visiting with you again in our next episode. In the meantime, we wish you wellness and health. <laughs>